veteran officiating crew. Brian O'Connell, Rainey Steins, and Roger Ayers are the opening tap here at Lawrence Joel Coliseum, controlled to the Demon Deacon. Obviously a real key, Brian. But one of the things that Syracuse is going to do is they're going to use that length to be able to stop Wade Forrest. Wade comes out and knocks down that three. Yesterday, he was very upbeat about his young guys. There's a nice little alley-oop off that dribble drive from Hughes, getting it to Chukwu. Alley-oop a moment ago. Nice penetration by Hughes. Chukwu is a guy you want to get involved early. For, again, you talk about the ability for Syracuse to get inside and penetrate. And Battle brings it back and gives it up to Hughes. When Hughes looks for his, his shot, he's outstanding. At times, he's just bashful about it. We're set with a nice runner off the window. Things is so good about the Syracuse defenses with their length. They force you for, far out, and those three-point shots are challenged. You see Battle come up with an acrobatic shot, one of many for this afternoon. He's going to put a lot of pressure on the, the guards from, from Wake today with his ability to score inside and out. Forward off the bounce. His length his body type. and his ability to be able to score, I think that that's a match that they're going to try to exploit by putting him in the middle. You see O'Shea Brissett come over yet another basket. Popular, good sign for Jim Beheim to get him off early. And we talked earlier about Wake, and so you can fall into fall in love with shooting those three pointers, and they're not a great shooting shot. Another oh, boy. up and under. I love that one. But they determined he couldn't go, so Wake, a little small up front. After Smart, there's little else for them inside, and there's a great follow by Shondi Brown. One of the things that Wake does well is one of the top teams in the league offensive rebounds. They're going to send guys for those second chance opportunities. Battle with a tray. Tyus off to a good start. Here in Winston-Salem today. I think seeding for them also in the NCAA is very important. There's a strong move by Hughes again. Gets the hoop and the harm. We highlighted at the beginning about Elijah Hughes' ability to get to the basket. And a lot of that is set up by his ability to knock down the three. You've got to honor it. That last time being able to absorb the con contact and then finish. Hudson was trying to get it in to Jalen Horde. A turnover the end result. Hughes is very confident right now. He's just taking it right to the 10 every time he can. His ability right now, he has looked to try to penetrate more, create offense for his for himself and his teammates. Right, can't get it to go, but a nice follow of Buddy Beheim at Brewster. He and Dolajai have meant a lot to this team, and once again, Syracuse getting just about any look that they want, Brian, is they've just not been able to stop people quite enough. Their defense has been scrutinized quite a bit. An answer from Lucius. That one went flying off the front rim. Right with a nice pass. You see this has come in and made a nice contribution. Five points, one of four from the floor. He's been hit and miss. He's got six already today since coming in. And there's an answer. Great power, as Beheim would like. But if they can get him going as we get ready for the second season to start again, they're going to be tough to stop. It seems right now defense optional on both sides of the floor. <laughs> Wake has come down and hit their last two. The movement <laughs> so far in our game, right? <laughs> Since uh, dump down Dolajai was there on the cut, they finally find him. O'Shea Brissett. In a better position when you've got a guy like Brissett and then Hughes coming out and get started because you know what you're going to get from Tyus Battle. He's a nice long distance three by Brandon Children. Rodney Rogers were some of the greatest ever in Wake Forest history. <laughs> Going back to children, you know apples don't fall too no, far from the tree. Can't get that perimeter jumper to go, but they did get back better defensively in transition this time. Or said another great time drop. And going reversal is Hughes. Hughes not living with the three, being able to attack the rim. Poor pass that time leads to a turnover to Brissett. Battle with open gates right to the rack. And a quick timeout by Danny Manning. The first two have gone off the front iron. He is some sharpshooter. On the other end, a rejection by Hughes. How about that elevation? For this Wake Forest team in Syracuse has now opened up a double-digit lead in so doing. There's Dolajai in traffic. You talked about how fearless he is. For many a years, and I thought that that was the guy to give you the points and the rebounds. 30 and 15 is a bundle. I bet he was close. Nice running. One-hander for Shondi Brown. Lower leg. He just doesn't have quite the explosion. There's another steal. Battle end to end. Some of those passes along the perimeter for Wake. Howard and Hughes that can get in those passing lanes in that most recent time. Battle being able to get that for the finish. Points in the paint now up to 24 to 6. 
for the yard. Find a way to get inside the teeth of that zone. Brown knocks down the triple. And Childers that you want to get going and get those open looks. Hughes off the bounce. Count it. Well, those are just too easy. That's a two-pointer. His shots have been under duress. And when he's had an open look, he's just been off the mark. There's Jensen. Now, they're hoping this youngster is going to get two years of eligibility. The Orange with the opening possession as we begin the second half. And there is an alley-oop to Hughes. Perfectly thrown by Howard. Opening seconds uh, <laughs> give you the story of the inside points. Make it 13 of 17 inside the paint area. And there's a return to Cinder from Sharon Wright to 33. And a steal by Sharon coming the other way. Uncharacteristic of Syracuse in the first half. BC Woo. definitely gave us an opportunity to put it up for Malcolm Mackey and Carl Brown and Johnny McNeil. Oh, nice work. That's a two. Beautiful adjustment off the bounce by Tyus Battle, and it's 44 to 35. Again, that's where the 2 3 is so effective for Syracuse. And Battle again with an answer. And a quick timeout taken by Wake. And that's been the case really since the first one that went crying off the rim. And there's Hughes on the other end. Wide open over Horde. Alley-ooping again. This time, Chuklu does retrieve it, and he's fouled. And one. Seven now from downtown. Alley-oop again. Boy, that's just been there all day. How many more of those are you going to give up? Look at the job Buzz Williams has done without Justin Robinson. There's a nice tip in by Chuklu, who's been very active. But I'm really impressed with what the Hokies have done all year long. Defend and knock down shots. I mean, they've done it basically with a six-man rotation. Look at that defensive work by Chuklu. In to end, and Hughes with what has become now a layup drill for the Orange. Remember the 2-3 that he played? And he, he took his teams to the Elite Eight on many occasions. Never got to the promised land, and Chuklu with another. But they were a problem. Number two team in the country from Virginia. Bayheim, a pull-up. Now, that's one of the things about Buddy Bayheim that people are not necessarily sure of. But he's even better now than he was before off the, the dribble. That ball rejected as it goes inside. Coaches don't forget that. They love those kids that give them floor burns from time to time. And you need those guys on a team like that. As you see Childers being able to get knocked down. I remember the Billy New O. Owens was the nickname they went with back in the day. As you see Sean D. Brown with a put back. Syracuse doing a good job of that. Nice defensive work that time by Childers. And it's thrown right to Bayheim. Bingo! Syracuse, or at least from this area that loves Syracuse, rise to their feet. 72-44 after that bucket. After this day is done. Dola they got numbers now on the other end. Count it and a foul. It's his own shot. But another takeaway. This one by Musias. Win for three. Just get me to the finish line. Get me to the same hotel for a week, will you? Right? <laughs> they're, they're not unlike us as Bayheim gets the bucket. A lot of fun being with you, Brian. I look forward to the ACC tournament. Tim, always a pleasure. We'll be in Charlotte in a week. Well, for highlights, most see moments from the game and others, check out the ACC.com.